hey guys what's up hope you're doing great nakash atul back with another excited video tutorial so in this video i will show you how you can create a real stick pbr material if you don't know what is pbr material so pbr material is a texture based material which gives you a real stick rendering result so but there is a but there is a process to create uh, PBR material I will show you example what I mean so uh, this is my PBR material so as you can see here uh, this material have a lot of uh, detail instead of just simple uh, <coughs> still picture so it's not a I will show you so this material so in this material we have a base color uh, base color is a simple photo which we can download from uh, which we download from Google so and there is a one of main thing is a normal map so what is normal map so if you don't apply normal map so I will show you how it can look like so this is not anymore 3d if you render it from another uh, side so it simply look like a, a 2d image or 2d plane so if we when we apply normal map boom so it's give you a real stick look 3d look so so let me show you how you can do this so we just need to change this object wait okay so how you can do this so let's create first you need to download that software there is a lot of software for creating bitmap uh, texture so from a uh, texture from bitmap so but uh, i recommend you bitmap to material so i mentioned link in the description when you click on link to find this download now page just skip the ad and download uh this word uh this software if you use mac download this one and if you use windows download windows one so okay so how we can create i already download uh this wood plank from google so now let me show you how you create a normal map bump map uh, displacement map with just one normal bitmap so okay just drop and drag your uh, bitmap here okay just load in main input tweaks uh, remember this load in main input tweaks so controls so here we go so what happened so there is a different tab here first one base color which is our basic material texture so second one roughness so this is for roughness on our material here we here i will show you they give you a default setting if you can look closely so it's already creates your material really beautiful with uh, a lot of uh, 3d details height map and normal map so you can see there so this is roughness this is metallic metal we don't need this one this is a normal map main map here so this is a normal map height height mean displacement map ambient occlusion i don't use ambient occlusion too much but if you want you can so we can change the setting from there so here we have some different settings so we just play with a normal map first so normal instancy if we just increases they increase more detail add more detail in your material so if we just decrease normal in intensity so let's give you you can see here you can see difference so that's looking okay for me okay So now you can see how real stickers look like right now just with a few clicks so there is a different diffuse color setting so if you want to little bit change color or want to do something like I go with my random color so I don't change anything in my color there is different setting there so input scale for for your texture tile mapping so output here okay we just create uh, of metallic for now so 
we don't need uh, even clothiness no need normal map we need height we need ambient occlusion okay we go with ambient occlusion you're off that starting so there is a lot of setting you can play around with this also there is a texture resolution you can change it if you want to high resolution this is until 4k i use 1024 here so because okay so okay if you want to use bump map you also basically bump map is the same like a normal map so we don't need this if we have a normal map we don't need a bump map right now so here is the grunge if you want to add some grunge on it so you can also add it so here you see if you own grunge on your material you find little bit more detail on your side but i don't need it right now so let's export our these material and apply inside the cinema 40 so this time i'm using redshift for these materials so let's see what we can do okay so just click on export as bitmap as i change my texture here select folder format jpg okay we need a base color roughness clothiness no no we don't need a clothiness right now okay we add it normal map height map export it okay go back to sanma 40 create a new redshift material here i'm use redshift material this time for our map here redshift material open redshift edit shader graph here go to our material texture folder where is our texture here this one and we just drop and drag this old texture inside our shader graph so we don't import normal map uh, just by just dragging and drop because there is a different uh, node we need to create a different normal map node we specially designed for normal map from inside the texture uh, graph so a uh, node graph so we just find here normal map so here we go just like so let me show you we simply apply this material on it what happened uh, when we apply just a normal map on our material so as you can see they give you an awesome wait we need to this close it okay we just add a little bit reflection there is a lot of reflection we don't want yet so here we go so as you can see you can't uh, see normal map directly on your uh, viewport because uh, it's a redshift third party uh, rendering plugin that's why if you create a physical material uh, or so basic material so some of the default material and you apply normal map here and like this one sorry not this one this one no what what is that i apply this normal map on it but it's not okay whatever there is something wrong with it so as you can see we just increase a normal map scale like this one more to give you a little bit plank detail wood plank detail so if you even we don't apply any material on it yet so this is just a normal map with some reflection if we just drop the reflection so you get this so just change the color to a black a little bit no a little bit yellowish color here because you i want to show you what i mean so this is what happened with a normal map so as you can see they are basic uh, 3d geometry on your object uh, so now next thing we add clothiness effect on it clothiness texture okay 
reflection reflection color and we need to add a displacement map so we just do our displacement there what is that what the heck is it so displacement so we just go here displacement so here we go we need a different node here height field object train and we use it so here we have displacement scale you can increase and decrease you can anything with it so and let's create a let's apply basic texture here wood plank texture what is a diffuse color boom as you can see here this looking awesome So let me show you how it looks like without normal map. So, so it's simple uh, 2D plane when but when we apply normal map on our so it's give you more details. So let's increase normal map detail to 10 here. Yeah. More realistic, more good look. So you can create any material uh, with this. So I hope you like this video. Okay, let's apply a little bit environment on it. This texture. We add a little bit reflection in it. So wait here is link. So that's how you create a realistic material in, in uh, with just simple a bit uh, with just simple bitmap. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.